Hello, Katja here and welcome uh, to what this tutorial where I will use AB Studio Papers. I have a box 12 by 16 centimeters. It looks like a book, uh, out like uh, cardboard, a lot of lace and the gorgeous somewhere collection from AB Studio. It's very romantic paper with roses and natural colors and a little bit teal. And I will decorate this uh, box, this boot, uh, book box, or what you call it, uh, in a shabby look, a romantic look. Yes, I uh, like to do it more shabby. Uh, I start to paint my uh, box with white heavy gesso uh, and it doesn't need to be all perfect because I will uh, cover it with some of the gorgeous paper. So you see, not everywhere. I have some fabric linen a piece of fabric and i will add it on the back side of the book on the spine and i use 3d matte gel to glue the fabric and um, i like to mix fabric and uh, paper i think that's make it interesting and you see i have not put too much because then it will show a bit uh, under the fabric and uh, I press it very well and I'm thinking to have some uh, ribbon or, or something like that. I like to have it more a um, little bit give it like a texture so I will also add paint on the fabric. I think it looks a little bit too plain. So I'm a little bit careful when I'm adding the paint on the, on the spine. Uh, the white heavy gesso and I'm a little bit light handed. And I add the white gesso until I'm happy. Uh, I think that's give a more interesting look to my uh, book cover. Uh, it's time to add the, the ribbon. It's in white well, uh, velvet and I think that's give a little bit more exclusive to the album. Um, I could have add other colors or paper pieces or anything, even some metallic embellishment. But I like this album to be more, uh, or the box to be more soft. And uh, there will be one more uh, video when you can see me watch the album that will be inside this bo uh, box. So be sure to be sure to that you are following the channel and to click the bell button so you don't miss uh, when I do the album that will match the box. You see me here. I have some cardboard uh, that I've been placing and I'm thinking to have it. And uh, now I have some um, string and I want to do something uh, with the sides here. So I have this, I think that's also from um, linen and uh, I cut really a bunch of them because I will add them uh, for my page. It will look like pages.
yes so be sure that you're following the channel and subscribe and like and write a comment and let me know what you think it means so much I really enjoy sharing and uh, showing you what I'm doing uh, on my spare time I'm so so happy and um, to get some ideas and uh, if you get inspired please uh, let me know and now you see me tricking uh, a little bit tricking work here because I will add this uh, string uh, and adding them they nice so they will stay uh, exactly not like a messy one they will be rather perfectly so I add them one by one and see that they are on place adding 3d material as glue so and the gel it will uh, dry transparent when it's dry I don't want it to show and um, you see me I have do half of them I don't do them all at the same time and now I take one string string at the time and adding it and uh, try to place them a little bit tricky but it's fun to see that grow and, and it didn't uh, took too long time to make it and uh, I think I will do this by using uh, yarn or string or ribbons uh, to give a great texture on uh, some other projects um, so I'm going on and working on that and um, lay them and um, the most tricky ones was on the end because I need to cut them on the exact l uh, length and then glue them and it was a little bit tricky but I'm really happy with the result so it's only to take one step at the time and what should it be if you always uh, choose uh, the simple way to do a project or something like that uh, it's good to try different things and uh, different ways to do things So I hope everyone is uh, okay um, wherever you live and everything so this is my way to share what you can do uh, to treasure some good memories to make your own album and I think it's nice to keep the album in a box. yes and here i will have on the cover of the box i have paper from the sheet uh, number one and it's a nature color and with the stripes it's absolutely gorgeous the the paper are just incredible and always uh, difficult to choose or what you would like but uh, when you have new papers, don't be afraid to cut it. It's only a piece of paper and um, sometimes uh, perhaps you're a little bit sad because you it doesn't show so much of the paper. But even if it shows a little bit, uh, it's okay. 
because you see me I was having the cardboard and I will add uh, the cardboard on this paper um, that's to make it a little bit more interesting and to give it like a frame I think that's why I want to do it um, I think it's look a little bit too plain uh, if you don't have something around it and now I have the beautiful stencil 160 from AB Studio and I have some icing paste uh, the metallic paste uh, and I want to add a little bit gold uh, touches on my album uh, so I use a stencil and uh, it will be drying and uh, I will give my cardboard uh, gluing it with the 3D gel to like framing my cover so um, I think that will be perfect uh, working again with the contrast with the white and soft colors uh, and to give um, the frame with the cardboard and to give more interest with the icing paste in a stencil. So um, I really enjoy creating this and I think it's a really easy project. It's not so difficult. And uh, if I have the 3D gel uh, got a little bit outside, I have a clean pencil to draw brush it off and you can see what I did with the back side and because I have the paste on both uh, pages um, I must leave it to dry and on the places where I um, haven't uh, got rid of all the 3D I am adding some small uh, pearls to give a little bit more interest and that was not my plan from the beginning but you know when you're sitting and uh, having a great time uh, doing something uh, something comes to your mind and uh, I try to follow the process uh, my plan was not to give uh, this album this kind of look uh, I know I didn't know that I wanted to make the create this box but um, not in this exactly way so that's my advice go with the flow and uh, let it come on your way and here I have a paper inside the box I will also have some papers and this paper are gorgeous with big flower roses and leaves from sheet number four and uh, I don't have any plan to create any layers or do something more on the inside because there will be an album and my cover uh, are dry and I do the same now that I did on the spine I'm uh, adding it gently on soft soft brush to adding uh, a white uh, gesso on the edges and uh, this is, can also be like one way of framing um, things to adding uh, paint on some way and I think uh, that makes uh, the look what I liked so I'm also adding a little bit on the uh, icing paste because uh, I don't want the sharp uh, edges to go outside so light-handed adding paint around it and now the fun part is to decorate to create the layers of uh, some frames and flowers and uh, yes you see me using lace like a background texture 
and here I use uh, glue I don't enjoy uh, using so much uh, the glue gun I think it's uh, stick fast but I really like when you have a little bit time to move around like here you see the things haven't dry completely directly is that a word I don't know um, but I have a little bit time before it's all sticked glue uh, dries really fast uh, but if you have gel you have more time and that's why I they're not used the glue gun because uh, it stick and dries really fast and I also have some embellishment uh, like my focal point and uh, I have some shipboard lift leftovers uh, so it will stay and adding some layers to the album and um, yes I was having a great time here uh, creating this album and as usual some of my embellishment will not show and here a piece of uh, lace I also have some cheesecloth and here I have uh, some cutouts from the sheet 7 from the sev uh, from the somewhere collection and it's just adorable and so sweet with these roses and leaves and yes so amazing and because I have uh, the frame and uh, uh, lace it uh, are some place where I can stick my cutouts um, and I haven't prepared I have only shoes some cutouts and then I try to place them uh, I could have uh, prepared them and try how I want to do and then take a photo with my um, cell phone and uh, do it again sometimes I do that if I have really much uh, embellishment um, that I'm not sure how it will work but here I could also make more cutouts or add some more embellishments because I think this box it's not so big project um, it didn't took me too long to create it and uh, to give the extra you know I also want to add the extra to give my focal point the more focus and here I do it with a little bit thin uh, yarn in gold and uh, yes I'm starting to liking it little bit more glue to so be sure that my embellishment will stay I also use the glues a little bit here and there because yeah I will add more of the pearls oh I'm so crazy with pearls and to give things texture I think that made uh, the more interest and give more interest to projects so i'm really happy about my album and hope you like it and give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think and the most important thing have fun and hope you get inspiration and create something anything and just have fun and I hope to see you soon again in a new tutorial here on YouTube see you